Colin McGregor and AFL TV. Come on, Colin, take, what you got for me? Take what, one Listen, little step. Oh, this is taking competition winner to new heights twice in one day. Do you know what it is, though, where we were rushed earlier? I actually didn't give the fans what they wanted because they wanted to hear about this show this weekend. So I'm actually doing you a favour like I have oh, been oh, the oh, past couple of times. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, thanks, mate. Your promotion's yeah. unbelievable. While you're off Swan and Antigua, like, you know, we look at other promoters. Ben Shalom, I'll give yeah. you an example, right? Mm. Out in Puerto Rico, the hard yards of the convention, yeah. and you're out sunning yourself in Antigua. You've lost your work ethic, let's be honest. Because you know why? When you're numero uno, baby, you don't have to always be chasing, chasing, chasing. I've done the hard graph. I've got an incredible team working for me now. And as you know, we're the king of boxing. So, but well, you have lost a bit of your work ethic. No, I haven't lost any of my work ethic. What he you, and you when I say that, no, doesn't it? Because what you have done... Before we were rudely interrupted there. No, no your, your, work, uh, your work ethic. Uh, sorry, rudely interrupted. Yeah. You've, we've just had to cut an interview halfway through because you didn't have to work a camera. I've had to stand around for five or six minutes. Wait, what I should have done is go, bye. And just gone. So don't start giving it the big ones. No, it does, does. Shush. Start paying homage to the king, right? Because I'm sick and tired of you. Every time I look round, you're filming me. Love right? it. Absolutely Every love it. Every time you're filming me up and down, look at him, look at him. He changed his clothes, so he has. <laughs> you did change them. No, I thought you got dogs if you saw my media earlier. Do you know right? Fred Meller said you were wearing. Um, Fred Meller said that you. <laughs> Fred Meller. Where's Fred Meller? Fred, the day Fred Meller, Fred, the day Fred Meller comments on my clothing, this is this is called Italian fucking tailoring to the finest. Right, Don't you start sitting? I mean, look. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Represent hoodies though. Oh, shut it's up! Exactly, the hoodies. Oh, you coming? Oh. What? You live in a fantasy world. Did I not? No. I, ha I have the receipts. Come, on, come. On. You, 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 you tagged me in the story. Do you not think that I can just reach out to a brand? But Thanks, do, do guys. That any brand, the chance for any brand to have Eduardinho Hearn donning their attire. Right, show me. Let's do it tonight. We'll, we'll do a, We'll do an experiment. You reach out to your brand. It's let's it's see. It's, 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 it's not a problem, mate. But you, you are piping up. You're sitting over there filming me nonstop. I don't know if it's for your own personal content or whether it's for IFL. For the new IFL series, a day in the life. Honestly. And you, you're starting to take liberties. Love it. Absolutely love it, Edward. Don't, don't forget who made you, son. Edward, we're here in uh, Philadelphia for a massive fight week for Boots Ennis. I asked Bozy yesterday what's changed between Boots in the first fight and now, and he said everything. He said Boots is a different fighter. Do you believe the same? I know you weren't involved with Boots then, but you've obviously seen the fight. Yeah, for sure. And I think, to be honest with you, I think Judasian's a different fighter. He's two years ago. You know, he fought Boots. He's had a good win for the final eliminator. He's probably better than he was there. He's going to need to be, because Boots, for me, is a, you know one of the pound-for-pound -pound great fighters. But... The pressure in this fight is not just for Boots to win, but he's got to look really good. Like we can't afford for this him to go out and for it not to be an entertaining fight. Bam is in a great fight. I've got to say, Colm, jokes aside from you just being... I mean, I, to be honest with you, when I do my interviews, I quite like to actually talk boxing and just have some, some ounce of journalistic integrity in the interviews. This card is unbelievable. Unbelievable. In fact, I'm going to call it America's Got Talent. Because I think this is the best talent pool you've seen. We all know that we've got the best stable in world boxing. We have the best stable in American boxing. And you're seeing a huge chunk of it on Saturday night. This is a brilliant show. The Ray Ford fight is a really, really good fight. So is Bam's fight. You've got Ernesto Mercado in an absolute all-Mexican war. Khalil Coe, you've got Zayquin Mosey, you've got Amo Williams. Plus you've got... Jerron and you got Bam. This is unbelievable. Where we've come to in America is quite sensational, and it's just the beginning for us. I want to. I want you just to break down this card a little bit more because obviously you've got some of your own younger talent on it. Do you find it hard nowadays because of there's the Riyadh season shows, right, where a lot of the big stars are going on these cards? You're finding it hard to maybe do more shows, as like for example last year you've done a lot more shows. Is it hard to get these people we, consistently out? Count our shows. I think. I think you're. You say a lot more. I think you're probably incorrect, which is mostly the case for you. But I think, you know, of course, a lot of fighters want to appear on the Riyadh season cards. They're paying fantastic purses to make big fights, and I get that. But we have to make the investment. You know, don't take a genius to work out the money we're spending on Saturday night in purses. This feels like a Riyadh season card on Saturday, and that's the kind of levels we need to get to. You know, the Jack Catchell progress fight, great card, great crowd. Sonny against Galau, great card, great crowd. 
January, February, March. We're building big nights, and this is a statement for us on Saturday night. This is a statement. When do you see cards like this top to bottom? Now, give me some credit for once. What, what would you like to see Boots do next? If, if he's the win, do you make that Conor Ben fight? No, look, you saw old ch Chippy Tits call out the um, Boots Ennis against Virgil Ortiz fight in the 5v5. Love to do that fight. But the, the plan for Boots is to unify at 147. That's the ultimate priority. If there's a big money opportunity against Virgil Ortiz, oh, mate, we'll do that and we'll clap Oscar's backside and boot him all the way back to Vegas. I want to ask you a little bit about Oscar De La Hoya because he comes out again tonight. There's been this ongoing battle between you and him. Night, really? Fair enough, yeah. You don't really go back to him. But in terms of these five fights, what was your instant reaction when he signed me up? I mean, look, I, I agree to all the fights. That's number one. The only thing is he, he doesn't represent Jaime Munguia, but if he can get him, I would love to make the Pacheco fight. I called that fight out after Pacheco's last win. Um, I don't represent officially Devin Haney, so I can't speak on his behalf. I'm, I'm fine with a Duarte fight. I'm sure Devin in as well. So all the other fights, absolutely. And Oscar will find out what it's like to put his guys in competitive fights. Because when he puts his guys in competitive fights, they get beat. Jaime I'm Munguia against Canelo Alvarez, he got beat. Ryan Garcia against Javonta Davis, he got beat. If you're making one-sided fights, you ain't gonna lose. Or you're a big favorite all the time. Let's see how you get on in the 5v5 that you called on. I called Eric Gomez after the, and I said, just want to say to you, I'm all in, make it happen. You know, I know His Excellency likes the idea as well, obviously. Let's see. We're all in for that fight. In terms of, of those five fights, do you believe that you can work with Devin Haney going forward to make that fight that yeah, he spoke I about? Think, I think there's a very good chance we'll work with Devin next, but it's up to him. You know, I think he needs a little bit of direction. I think we can give him that, but, you know, there's a lot that's gone on, and we'll have to see. Oscar also called you out in that, Eddie. Um, not being funny, but he's a former pound for pound superstar. Would you say that, that uh, you would take that if the money was right? You didn't see me in my Billericay ABC days. Eddie Hills, 4-0, four, oh, 4 by way of. Uh, I, there's always a price. Is there any amount of money that you'd step in there with Oscar mm -hmm. Delahoy? Of course. You're, you're someone that wouldn't like to be embarrassed though. I don't, for me, I'm not interested in that kind of stuff anyway. I think it's, I think it's bad for boxing. I would much rather be sitting ringside with His Excellency in the middle, having it with Oscar De La Hoya back and forwards during the fight. However, if His Excellency came up with a number that made sense for me, it would be very hard for me to turn it down. Physically, I am the, the larger man. I am more um, imposing. The slight problem is he was a pound for pound great, one of the best fighters of our generation. So I would be a slight outsider. So I'd rather just sit ringside and watch it. I've been told that we need to wrap this up. We'll uh, we'll we'll get we'll get longer tomorrow. Appreciate it. Thank you, mate. Really appreciate it. It's great no, to see you. I really no, I, I, re I really appreciate I it. Make you look no, good. I really appreciate your promotion as well. Thank you. Seriously, mate. Thank you. <laughs>